Hello, Mario. Hi, what's next, Walter? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. Okay. We have action. Action. Ernie, I'm waiting for Susia. Don't forget. Hello? One second. Yes. Susie? So after the year, I needed to call Walter Nesty. He has some questions about registering for the Yomats Mode event. Okay. You no, know, we get the caught. We, we, we. We, we registered for both. I have the tickets that's on my desk. I have the tickets for the event. Okay, bye. Yeah, I have the tickets. I, I only paid two, 220, 200. I paid not the, the 900 is if I think if you want rooms or something. Uh, okay, fine. No worries. Thanks. So Yud Zion. So we we had a machlokas between Rav Yechon and Shlokish. If a person's in a cemetery and takes a a nether to become a nazir, whether there's a chalois of the nether or not. So so we asked. We brought a raya that if a person was tame and then made a, a naziris vow, and he either took a haircut or drank wine, he gets malchus. So that seems to imply that the nether is chal. No, he went out of the Beis HaKavaro, so became Tor. Then he went back in. When he went back in, of course, he gets Malkus. And according to Rishlokish, you have to even accept the Naziris again by saying, I want to be a Nazir again. There is a the famous Ein Bain. These are different ain bains. Ain bain tome shenazer, the nazer tor shenitma. Somebody who was a tome mace who made a, a naziris vow versus a nazer who was tor and then became tome. What's the difference? Tome shenazer, shvi shelo oilam neminim. When he Gets paraduma sprinkled on him on the third and seventh day, and he goes to the mikvah on the seventh day. So he is already considered tor for a naziris status, and he can already start counting the first day of naziris on the seventh. Nazir tor shenitma, no, he has to count seven clean days, but then he has to bring korbanos. See, somebody who's tome who declares naziris, there's no korbanos. Because because he really doesn't start as a full fledged nazir until he becomes tor and, and starts counting the zeros. But a tor shenitma ain't shvishlo me because he only starts counting on the eighth day after he brings his korbanos. Now, but a tome shenazar, if you're going to say that there was no chalois, then amaya olamin how come the seventh day already starts counting um, if 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 there's no chalos, like Rachel Lucky says? Omer Mar Baravashi Mechol Kulamalo So now, because of this final kasha, 
The Gemara is forced to say, you notice it's Mar, the son of Ravashi. Ravashi and Ravina were the final editors of the Gemara. So for 200 years, this question fabumbled everybody until finally they had no choice but to say that in Hanami, everybody agrees that Kulam lo pligi de chaylo, that uh, the neder is chal, ki pligi le milki. Yeah, but you get malchus for violation. Rabbi Yechidon sir, kivin de chaylo loki. Since there's chalois, you will get malchus for the tumah. Rish loki sir, loy loki. Vechaylo. It's chal, but there's no malchus for that tumah. Our old case. He's in the cemetery. He declared in his ears vow. He's in the cemetery for 30 days. You can't count them in the ears. And there's no Corbin for Tuma. And the Gemara is Medayik, the deuces. Corbin Tuma Udolomaisi. Ha Milki Loki Fine, he doesn't bring a Corbin tumor, but he gets Malchus for the tumor. Nah, Bidinu the list analog. Really, the Bryce should have also mentioned he doesn't get Malchus. El, Mishun the Kaboy, the Mr. Safe for Yotz of a Nicholas Oil of Minion. The safe of that Mishnah talked about him leaving the Basic Forest and going back in. But then we said the days that he spends outside is oil, who may be Corbin tumor. So that's why he had to say in the Rasha, ain't maybe in Corbin tumor. But really, ain't Malchus either. <coughs> That's why, because Toneration and maybe Corbin Tuma, just for stylistic reasons. Okay. So Rish Lakish, so far, has been able to deflect all the kashas on him. We ask another kasha. Ain't Bain Tomish Nazar the Nazar Torshinitma. Like we said, Elisha Tomish Nazar, somebody who's Tome makes an, an Azir's vow. He counts seven clean days. He gets Paraduma sprinkled on the third and seventh day, goes to the mikvah in the morning. And already that day, Shvi Shalo There's no Korbono is brought. But a Nazar who was Tahar for 15 days and then touched a dead body, Shanitma. So he has to count seven clean days. And then on the eighth day, bring Korbonois. Therefore, ain't Shvi Shalo Now, that's the only difference, which implies Halamalka Zev is a which implies that they both get Malkus. And if they both get Malkus, a Nazar Shatoma, there's a Chalois and there's Malkus. The fact that they have to take a haircut, but not Malkus. Avalim Malkus Mai. So what are you telling me? The Nazar Tohor gets Malkus, who became Tome. But the Nazar who was Tome, He's not Malkus. Listening, then you, you should have uh, mentioned it as a difference between the two. The more a- answers, that's not a kasha because bitakante komairi, bikulkulo komairi. Means how you ruin yourself, the, the Bryce is not dealing with. How you correct yourself, where when you take a haircut, you correct yourself, that it deals with, but not with the kilkulo. Okay, final nail on the coffin is coming. Toshma. Mi Shaya Tomi Venozi. Somebody who was Tome and declared in his ear its vow. Osir le Galeach Velishtos Yai. You may not take your haircut, you may not drink wine. And here comes the punchline. In Gileach, Vishosa Yai, Venid Malmason, I raise the soy because our boy, he gets Malkis. To you, Kashan Rish Lokish. Boy Rava. Nazivu Besa Kvaris Mao. A person made is in a cemetery and he makes a Nazar vow. Now, does he have to sit in the Besa Kvaris a period of time in order to be Chai Malkis? Shahi Allah Malkis or Lom? Now, if somebody was standing next to him and telling him, listen, 
they warned him, don't accept Naziris here in a cemetery. You're going to get Malkus. So Lamale Shehia. Once he makes the nether vow, that's enough. Nozer, my time, little boy, she here, the Komasri Bay. A Nozir who's over an Aveira, like, don't go into a cemetery. And he goes. So he did a Maisa Aveira. So he gets, and he had a Hasra, Hachanami, Komasri Bay here also. If somebody warned him, he should get Malkus as well. So the case is an unusual case. <laughs> They brought him into a, in a box. In a box, he's protected from the tumma. It's a big wooden box. Wood is not makabal tumma. And if he's inside there, in the basic forest, he doesn't become tummy. The friend came and lifted the ceiling of this wooden box. Now it becomes tummy. I'm not pushing that. So kig mirin shehi beis amigdash. Now, if a person is tame and walks into the beis amigdash, but there you have to spend a certain amount of time there in the beis amigdash. Avala broi lo, but outside the beis amigdash, like a nazar in the beis forest, maybe he doesn't have to spend time there. Oy demaloy shno, maybe. Even a nazar in the beis akvaros has to spend some time there. Like in the base, like in the base of Megdosh, before he gets Malchus, Teiku, Boy Ravash, Nazar Vu Bebeis He took a Nazar vow in the cemetery. Now, normally, when a when a if it, you're a regular Tahir Nazir, Tahir Nazir, and halfway through his Nazir, he becomes Tommy. so that breaks the count of the days. He has to count seven clean days. On the eighth day, he brings Corbonus and he takes a haircut. That's you? Uh, no. So the question is, <laughs> the Nazir made a vow of Naziris in the cemetery. Yeah. He doesn't become a Nazir until he leaves the cemetery. We learned that yesterday. But does he have to take a haircut before he starts counting his Naziris Petahara? <clears throat> oh, look. He boy tiglachas. Who needs a haircut? Tor shenitma. A Nazir tor became Tome. The Kometh time in the Because he interrupted his Naziris with Tuma. And there's a process that the Torah goes through. And part of that is hair cutting. Aval Tome should Nazir low. But if a Tome declared Naziris, maybe it's different. Or maybe there's no difference. He has to take a haircut. So Toshma. Me should Nazir he took a Naziris vow in the cemetery. I feel Hayasham Shloishim Yom. Even as he, he's, he's there for 30 consecutive days, Eina Olam and Amin doesn't count. The Eina may be Korban Tuma. Korban Tuma Hudulo Maisi. The Gemara deduces from the statement, fine. He does bring a Korban, but Aval Galuche Boy. But before starting to count regularly, he take a haircut. Of course, there's no. Matam Kamer, it's giving us a reason. Matam, you know, maybe Korban Tuma. Why doesn't he bring a Korban to Mishun? The Loboy Geluchet, because he doesn't need to take a haircut. Remember, I explained yesterday or two days ago that the haircut is part and parcel of the Korbanis. That means when you bring the Shlom in, you take a haircut and the hair is burnt in under the burning pot of the Shlom. Toshma. Ain Bain Tomish and Nazir and Nazir Torsh and Itma. There's no difference between somebody who is. In a state of Tumah who declares an Aziris vow to a Nazar who was Tahar, who all of a sudden becomes Tomei, El Tomei Nazar, we said, Shvi Shalom Olam Naminyan. He gets Paraduma sprinkled on the third and seventh day, he goes to the mikvah on the seventh day in the morning. Already that day, he can already start counting his first day of Naziris. Nazir Torshanit, Mayin Shvi Shalom Naminyan. He has to wait until the eighth day when he brings his Korbanas. But so we say, Ain Bain, there's no difference. Now my love, I'll take lachas <laughs> every day. But just like a nazir tor who becomes tummy has to take a haircut, so too a, a tummy shen nazir has to take a haircut. Lo, halamalkus zevizeshavi. They both 
get malchus if they violated the naziris by drinking wine, taking a haircut, or being metame. So what are you telling me? That there is a difference? That Zemegaleach, a Tor Shinitma, takes a haircut. The Zemegaleach, list me. So it should have been mentioned as one of the differences. So Tana Shvi Shalovachomili. It only mentioned what is relevant to the seventh day, including the Tiklachas. So the Shvi counts, and he doesn't have to take a haircut, and you don't have to bring a Corbin. Toshma. Ainli Ali Yimei Tumaso, Shein Odalomina Minyan. A Nazir who becomes Tomei. So the days of his Tumar are not counted as part of his 30 day Naziris. You may chilut What if he develops tsaras and the Kohen sequesters him so he's a musger for a week, and then he comes back later, a week later, and says, "Oh no, he's a, he's definitely a tsaras." So those days of chaluta, how do we know that those days also do not count? The dinu, and it's logical. Just like the days of Tuma, after he's done with that, he has to take a haircut and bring a korban. So at the end of the tsaras, you have to take a haircut and bring a korban. And we continue with the logic. Just like the days of Tuma, he can't count. So the you may chiluto of tsaras doesn't count. So the is low. You can't use that logic. There's a difference between a Nazir Tor who counted 15 days and all of a sudden became Tomei. You know what happens? It wipes away the previous 15 days. That's why the fikach ain't olam na minyan. Toimer be chiluto, she ain't mevatel sakoidmin. Tsaras, he puts him into limbo. It doesn't wipe away the previous days that he counted bitahara. You just can't count it. In the, but maybe the fikach or the lamina minion. So Amrit. So to answer that, come back. The Gemara says like this: Uma Nazir Bakever. A Nazir who took a vow of Nazirus in the cemetery. Shesaru Roy Litiglachas. He still hasn't had a haircut yet. So he's potentially ready to take a haircut. Yet, we said even if he spends 30 days in the cemetery, you may chilut shein roi letiglachas. After Tsaras, he has to take another haircut. And then he has to start again with Naziris. So certainly, the may chilut should not count for him when you count Naziris days. And what kind of tiglachas? My love, tiglachas tuma. And we're talking about taking haircut because of, no, tiglachas tahara. The tiglachas that we're talking about is taking a haircut after he became Tor. And after he finished 30 days of Naziris, he finishes the tahara, everything. That's the tiglachas we're talking about, but not tiglachas betuma. And Okanami Mistabra. And the Gore is going to prove to us why that's logical. Okay, tomorrow, again, uh, Shabbos is 5.30, right? What time is Shabbos tomorrow? 5.15. 5.15. So you want to learn at 3.30 or 4 o'clock? I can do either. How about 3.45? 3.45 is a good plan. 3.45 for everybody? Okay. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. Is that okay. good? Is okay. that good, Elazar? Elazar? Yeah, 3.45 is good. George, we're right. okay for yeah. 45? Yeah. I'm going to try. Right. right. And, I got it. By the way, Friday night, the DAF will be 7.30. Friday, Friday night? Saturday night. I'm sorry. Sorry. Motsi Shabbos, Friday night. Motsi no. Shabbos, uh, 7.30, come join me. And 8 o'clock, Novi. Okay? Very good. Very good. Have Shabbos. a good night. Have a good night. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Shabbos. Shabbos. Shabbos.